This is Hublot. He is a CSGO item scammer, and he is about to have his worst nightmare happen to him. These scammers try and catch a lot of potential people to scam, so they don't really vet the people that they add. That means even though I know my way around the CSGO scene, he is about to catch me. But you can guess that he won't be able to scam me with his method. In fact, I'm even going to try to get him to send me one of his items. More about that later, but I first have to tell you how this guy operates. He has many alt accounts, so he can have automated messages sent to many people at once. When someone reacts and looks interested to sell their item, he asks them to add him on his main account. That way he can add as many people as he wants without running into the limit that Steam has set for adding new people. He then tries to convince the person that he is legit, so they go first and get scammed. But people are complicated and people don't just trust buyers because of scammers like this guy. So he's going to try to win our trust. He'll do this by actually lying to us and giving us tons of explanations, but we'll see that later. Let's now get into the scam attempt, but before we get into that I want to tell you about GamerPay, which is an easy way to sell your items without getting scammed. Check out how to get 10 euros for free with today's video sponsor GamerPay. GamerPay is the easiest and safest way to buy and sell skins. They have a huge range of items to choose from and their prices are way cheaper than the Steam community market. If you sign up with my link in the description and buy or sell something worth 35 euros or more, you get 10 euros completely for free. I like sorting their items for best deals so I can find items that are even cheaper than on buff. They have very low fees and they are trusted by the community. Overall an awesome way to buy and sell skins. Check them out with my link in the description or top comment. But now let's get into the actual scam attempt. It all starts with the initial catch. He has to pretend to want to buy my item. They often just pick your most expensive item or items and they only do this with really big items since it's not worth it otherwise. Not busy, dude. Not really, what's up? Are you selling your gloves? For the right price, yes. It's a really good float field tested. At this point I of course had no idea he was a scammer, but as we go on I will show you all the red flags that I came across. Actually we already saw one red flag, which was that he added me first. Usually when you want to sell your item you either list it yourself or you go to a big seller and ask them. Someone can come to you to buy it from you straight if it's really special, but this rarely happens. Unless it's scammers of course. It's field tested? Yeah. Wait, which ones? Emerald Web, can you add me on main account to discuss? This is the second red flag. If someone comes to you and then asks you to add them on another account, it means they add a lot of people through Steam every day and regular buyers don't do this. This is something that scammers typically do. Yeah, they're field tested, 0.20. Sure, what account? My friend code. I'd invited. He had me. Or at least that's what he was thinking at the time. We're now talking to his main account, but not for long. Hi, thanks for ad. Yeah, no problem. So you want to buy the field tested emerald webs? Float, 0.20, right? Yeah. Where you got it, by the way? At this point, I want to call out another red flag. Bad English or weird sentences. These scammers are often Eastern European or Asian, so they know the bare minimum amount of English to get by. The minimum wage there is less, so scamming CSGO skins can more easily be your full-time job there. This factor alone doesn't make someone a scammer, of course, but if you see it together with other red flags from this video, it is something to keep in mind. Oh, on Buff163, a while ago. Before we discuss anything, what payment method are you able to use? I can pay via bank transfer, PayPal, crypto, Venmo, Shiwi, Cash App, Cell, pay safeguard, Steam, wallet codes, Alipay or WeChat. This is another red flag. Most reasonable cash traders don't have this many options available. For example, bank transfers are quite different based on where two people live and he is even able to pay with methods like Alipay or WeChat, which are not Western at all, which can be possible, but he also has cash app. Something is not right. At this point, I knew I was most likely dealing with a scammer, but I pretend to go on anyways, just in case he isn't actually a scammer. Also, if he is a scammer, it's better that he is talking to me since he can't scam me, so that prevents him from scamming someone else in the meantime. This is also why I start to act dumb and unknowing from now on so he has to explain everything and convince me. That's the easiest way to get him to waste his time without wasting mine. Okay, that's totally good. Yeah, I'll check price on it real quick. I 
Do you have Discord by the way? This is another scammer trick and also a red flag. Scammers want to get you on Discord so when they scam you and you report them to Steam, Steam can't read the messages since they're not on Steam anymore, they're on Discord now. A normal buyer would almost never ask you to go on Discord. Yeah, I do. What's nickname? We then swap to Discord. Hi. Hi. It would be about 700 euro, based on buff, plus all fees, etc. I just checked your profile. It says you are buyer seller, where I can see your cash wrap thread. I don't know what you mean. What he's trying to do here is either establish that I don't have any rep, or that I have less rep than him, so I have to go first. That's also how legit cash traders work, but this one does take some weird turns to get there. Your profile says buying selling, right? Yeah, it does. You are trader, buyer, seller? Yeah. Where I can see your cash rep thread where people leave a reviews about deals with you. Your reputation as trader, I mean. I'm always open to send the money first if a seller has more reputation in cash deals than me. If not, send right after receiving a trade offer. Classic communi rules say going first who have less reputation because who have more risk more to lose. If you are not new in trading, I think you know what I mean. All of this is true, this is how regular cash deals work. The problem is, a scammer can say the same thing to look legit and blend in, as long as he has a fake rep that is higher than anyone's actual rep. To be clear, the one true trusted site is csgo-rep.com. That's the trusted site where you can see people's rep and if they are trusted or not. It was made by Martin RGB, that's one of the biggest traders, and that's the only resource you really need to see if someone is trusted. Other people to trust are YouTubers like Anomaly and Jesus, but that's about it. Now I want to waste his time, so I say that I've never heard of this before. Scammers know that people don't trust buyers, and they know that people need to feel trust in order to do deals like this. That's why scammers always explain everything very well with pictures, detailed text, they will do anything. This also means that with very little effort from my side, I can make the scammer try his best to logic his way out of everything, wasting his time completely. Yeah, I understand what you mean, I just haven't done that many cash trades yet. Do it on the side of the YouTube thing. Uh, I got you. Where can I see your YouTube by the way? I honestly had no idea about the cash wrap thread. How do I set that up? It sounds very logical now that you have told me. Then all what I can offer to show my guarantees and do all step by step so you can be sure 100% but send money right after receiving a trade offer, fair? No problem, I can leave a first comment on your thread, also I have enough so it would be respectable to to have a review from such an account. Where is your cash wrap thread? Here is my cash wrap thread where I can't edit it or delete negative comments from here. You can send me your profile on it. I'll leave a comment and you will see you can't delete it. Like on Steam profile comments, only who writing. So then I went to check his cash wrap and I get why lots of people get caught by these people. The site is not called csgo-rep.com but it's instead called csgo-trade-rep.com. And yes, he has plenty of good rep on this site. 181 one cash reps actually, but he didn't put a lot of effort into making the comments legit. For example, the first few look pretty good, but look at this one. Hello my friend, I would like to inquire you about purchasing some high tier skins. That is not a cash rep or a plus rep at all. That's a question. That's a question you would get in your profile comment section. I'm willing to bet he just went to an account of a well established cash trader and simply copied all of the top comments in there as reps. He might have tried to get out all of the things that weren't cash reps, but he actually missed a couple. There were actually two more plus reps that were out of the ordinary. I guess the scammer was too lazy to read through all of the comments and just decided it was good enough. When you actually google this site, there is one review of the site on scamadvisor.com and it goes like this. Self-hosted review website where all the reviews are fabricated shows a bias of positive reviews to the certain individual. My friend apparently had multiple negative trade scam reviews when he doesn't trade. Anyway, it's cool that he has his own website that is just fake. But how can you prevent falling from that? Well, just don't believe them too easily. He can say that he has done a lot of deals, but unless you go to csgo-rep.com yourself and find loads of good rep of him over there, it's not worth the risk. So now we know for sure that he's a scammer, but I didn't want to let go yet. Let's get him to waste more time on us. Ha 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 ha. Where are those comments? Also, I'm 100 level. Owner of my CSGO shop for 3500 subscribers, you can join after the deal. 
Never been banned or reported for scam anywhere. You can check my Steam rep also clean. Link in bio. Some of this stuff is true, but it's all set up as a way to get you to give him your items. His level is bought. It's actually not that expensive to be level 100. One scam can easily pay for that. His group is just full of bots and a bunch of people who have no idea. Plus, nothing ever happens in the group. He's never been banned before since it's hard to find scammers and ban them. Once he gets banned, he won't try to trade anymore and he'll simply make a new account. What do you mean? The cash rep people who said you were good. I'm trying to make him think I'm an easy target so he does even more work to scam me. I sent you. Like who you did a deal with. Also sold over 10,000 USD, sec, and etc. So people sent me more than 10,000 USD items first and nobody had any problems. Reselling it's my full time job. If I scam you or any else, my reputation will be destroyed and nobody will not make any deals with me in the future. Also I have a couple of video where I'm sending money should I send it or you can trust me for now. Like I said, fake sight, fake people. He is simply lying here, but it's a very believable lie, especially if you're relatively new in the CSGO market and you just want to sell your knife worth a couple hundred euros. And this scam is targeting those kinds of people so I get that they're being scammed. As you can also begin to see here, he's overloading you with information to suggest he is trusted, so you are forced to say yes even though you might want to say, I don't know yet. He also has videos prepared of him sending money, which is just weird and another red flag. I knew that telling him I don't trust him or that he's fake wouldn't get me anywhere, so I asked the question. Why do you only have two items in your inventory? Two good items. As I said, most of stuff was sold right now restocking my inf pack. Right now have cash. This is another big red flag. He is a big cash trader, but currently only has one knife and one glove and nothing else? Apart from a lot of cheap stickers and some other trash, what's that about as well? Well, I will explain that cheap trash later, it's actually really interesting. So if you are okay with safety for now, let me know we need to discuss one more important thing. What do we need to discuss? Do you hear about API scam before? Know how it works? Just to be sure, most popular shit right now, we both wanna save deal so. And also you didn't told you can receive money. No, what is that? I can receive money. I mean payment method. And now for a segment I like to call Scammer Explains a Different Scam. It works like someone asked you about loginning on some shady websites like join my tournament when you will put steam info every trade from your account will be faked by fake bots. Like join my tournament for one game, vote for my team, check pattern index on some shady websites. Oh yeah okay, but how does this affect us? If you log it on shady sites as I said, every trade from your account will be faked by fake bots. You didn't see anomaly video about API scam? I didn't, is he a friend of yours? Then I hope you never logged on shady links. No, it's just most famous trader on YouTube. Oh, I'll check it out. Anyway, I'll give you advice with trade offer so you can be sure 100% fair. Yes, that's good. We will soon go on with the trade, but you might be asking yourself how I'm going to get this scammer to send me items of his. Well, scammers want to be trusted. They want it so bad they will explain for hours, tell us lies, accept high prices, forge fake websites, they will do anything. I'm going to try to see how far I can push this principle. For now I'll show you what the scammer is up to. Question mark? Oh yeah, can you do bank transfer? Where are you from? Nepal. Yes, would work. Let me give advice with trade offer and we will discuss about bank transfer. Here you can also see that the scammer doesn't care if I actually get my money. It is quite hard to bank transfer to Nepal and you would also have to talk about who takes the fees of the bank transfer itself. This shows that he doesn't really care that I get the money at all since he knows he's just going to take the item and run. Okay. So what is a trade offer? You can make trade offer, put one case or sticker from my side for your glove so trade offer will be one to one. When you will confirm trade offer from phone make sure that I have 100 level you are in my friends list and trade offer one to one in items. If some of it will be wrong from phone, like zero level hublot or trade offer 1 to 0 in items, fake bot can't send anything from his site. Don't accept and let me know. Understandable? No, where do I find this trade offer? Just my trade link. For bank transfer I need to know account number, iban slash name slash bank name. 
At this point I wanted to throw one final test to this guy just to see how scammer he really was. You see, since a scammer won't pay you, he doesn't really care what price he has to pay for the item since he won't pay anyway. The scammers nowadays do pretend to check prices or think about it, but this is because that is more trustable and because it gives them time to react to other people getting scammed. That's why I threw him a price that would be insane to pay for my item, especially back then, just to see if he would accept. So it's 800 euros, right? Um. Oh, that is typo. My keyboard broke. Don't have money to buy a new one. My brother is really sick. Would be nice to sell the gloves. Here you can see that even though I am saying my brother is sick and I need to sell the gloves to care for him and buy a new keyboard, he still wants to scam me anyway. This shows really well how little these people care about other people. Bruh, 700 euros sounds fair enough. If you want to sell anything else to get more money, if we do one offer equals one payment, I can buy anything else, without any problems. That's a big loss, why would I do that? What do you mean? How much buff price? Again, give me a screenshot. Hmm? Here I was briefly worried since the price is obviously not that much, but a bit of bad photoshop quickly got me this picture and I had a perfect cover story. PC is slow. Only one field tested? Oh no, there's way more. This is cheapest. And you are ready to go for 800? Yeah, let's go. Let me think a bit. You didn't even send me bank details. Oh shit. NL91ABNA04213373769. Alright, let's go for 800. Here you can see that he accepts this ridiculous 800 euro price, even though the IRL price is way less. Even if he believed my screenshot, that was still less than 800 and cash traders never give you more money than buff price, they often give you 90 to around 92%. You will sell anything else or... Here he's also trying to get me to trade him even more items, which is another big red flag. No, this will be fine for now. Bank name and name of owner bank account. ABN Ambro. Name is Wayne Kerr. Nice. Alright, did you send offer? I think it worked. Worked. Um, you just take sticker from my side. I told trade offer gloves for sticker. Here we finally get into why he has this many cheap stickers in his inventory. They are a double trick for the scammer. On the one hand, if someone says he scammed them, he can say no, I exchanged one item for another item and you accept it so it's not technically a scam. On the other hand, he can use this to make people think it's safe so they aren't being API scammed. With an API scam you can normally not get an item in return so that's a way to check, but that's simply a ruse since he himself is the real scammer. Ooh, ops. So wait, how do I know if the trade works? Why am I asking this, you ask me? Well, I wanted to misuse his willingness to be trusted, if you recall. So what I'm going to try to do is make him send the sticker first, because I don't trust Steam. And since that makes him trustworthy, he might be willing to risk losing the sticker to gain the pair of expensive gloves. Especially when I clearly portrayed a not so smart person. So I was quite a high likelihood of getting the item from. Of course I won't let him get the gloves and thus will have succeeded. Let's see if we can get there. When you accepting on phone, double check that and trade offer one to one in items. But what if the trade doesn't work? If it doesn't, it will be look like you sent your gloves for same nickname but one level or zero and your gloves for nothing. But you choose sticker from my side so should be one to one. Can you send the sticker first so I know that the trade offer works? Are you just kidding me? Send offer as I said and all should work dude. I don't trust Steam. XD, XD, Jesus. He's breaking out of character here, which I find incredibly funny. Can you just send the sticker so I know it works? You can send offer a sticker for gloves by yourself. No, but I don't know if Steam scammed me. <laughs> what the? How Steam scam you? Well, if the trade doesn't do it correct, I don't know if it works. I told you. So if we do the sticker first, I know trades work. How it works. Send offer for sticker again. I sent it again and he accepted, which means I am now officially in possession of the scammer's item, without losing anything myself. I know it isn't a knife or anything, but it's still cool that a scammer was in theory able to be scammed, even if it's just a 2 cent sticker. It is from Stockholm though, so who knows how expensive it will be one day. Maybe in 10 years Stockholm and Antwerp will be as expensive as Ghetto 15 or something. Also, if I did a knife, it would actually be a viable reason for Valve to ban me, but I don't think that the sticker is that important. If the scammer really wants the sticker back, I, he can get it back, but I doubt that, look at his reaction. RIP BOZO! So... 
XD. I know you're a scammer, my guy, sorry. Good try though, the tactic is really well designed. He never reacted after that, but if he was a serious trader, he would be reacting very differently. That was it for this one. I like to think I prevented someone else from getting scammed with the time I wasted. If you enjoyed the video, you can consider liking it, or maybe subscribe to see what I get up to in the future. Thanks for the awesome support on all these videos, it's been awesome so far. Check out this video next to prevent other mistakes when handling CSGO items. If you need any item or want to trade with me, you can, link is in the description. I have a lot of expensive and cheap items to choose from, and my fees are very low. I also buy and sell items. If you're still watching, you are truly awesome. Thank you, goodbye.